Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you today some simple steps on how to replace your trailer hubs. I had to get new trailer hubs. Uh, mine had a lot of issues. One of them was this rear seal was blown out and it was getting grease all over the bottom of my boat, uh, all over my wheels. Uh, it's pretty typical. People are always asking, hey, what is this? Well, it's your rear seal blown out. Um, my old ones here had two different sets of studs. The rear seals were blown. The uh, bearings were worn out you can see the heat marks on this one and then those heat marks uh, they heat up and they create these divots and once those divots get in there those bearings get really hot and they can start a fire so um here's a simple process so the first thing you want to do is uh, just get a flat screwdriver and a mallet and then uh, just take these caps off uh once you get these caps off uh there's only a couple more steps so you're gonna want to take this cotter pin out that's holding that castle nut in and then uh, after you do that, you'll be able to get a flathead screwdriver and then just, uh, you know, clean off the grease or whatever and then pry that um, castle nut off. So just kind of stick a flathead screwdriver in there and then tap it. Uh, and then you'll get that to where you can just spin that right off. And then after you spin this castle nut off, uh, you'll be able to remove the hub. And uh, once you remove the hub, um, one, of the, one of the front bearings will fall out. Uh, the rear bearing is actually sealed in with that rear seal that I showed you earlier. So there is two of these bearings, one in the front and there's actually one in the back of the, the hub too. So, um, all right, so once you get this uh, front bearing off, you can pull that hub off. And then uh, you're gonna want to save these hubs because you might need to take them into your trailer store um, or like a tractor supplier or something so you can get your new hubs. So uh, when you get the hub off, measure your axle. I don't know if you have a micrometer, you can uh, measure it there or you know, simple with a tape measure. Usually they're like one inch or an inch and an eighth. Um, but you also wanna uh, make sure you get the right lug, either a four lug or a five lug. You don't wanna go get the right hub and then realize, oh crap, I needed a four lug instead of a five lug hub. So um, so measure that and then, uh, yeah, go get your new hubs. Uh, once you get your new hubs and everything, uh, clean off your axles really good. Uh, I just kind of pre-clean it off and then I use mineral spirits to clean that off. You can see on that uh, axle where that heat mark was, uh, was from that bearing getting hot. Um, all right, so then you just pre-lube your bear, your uh, hub and then stick it on there. Um, and then use a grease gun, fill it up as much as you can. Use your hands, your fingers. I use the rubber gloves and stuff, but uh, just kind of get as much grease in there as possible. Pre-grease your bearings as much as you can. They want them to not get hot right off the bat. And then, uh, you know, fill this up as good as you can uh, with the grease. And then uh, stick your bearing back on and then stick your washer back on. And then after this, you're going to stick your castle nut back on. So you're going to get your castle nut, put it on loosely tight, and then back it off just a little bit, and then put that cotter pin in. You want that hub to be able to spin freely. And then uh, I use a new cotter pin. You can use the old one if it's not too beat up. Um, so just bend it back up through the center. And then uh, go ahead and uh, tap your cap back on. So um, before I do that, I actually put grease on the outside uh, you'll see it here I just want to prevent any water from getting into that bearing um, keep it in the cap so just kind of fill that area there and that'll keep any water that penetrates um, from getting into actual bearing and then uh, just tap your caps back on with a mallet um, it's really hard not to dent these little caps they're like two bucks so they're pretty easy to replace um, but yeah tap that cap back on and then you are ready to go uh, you can go ahead and stick your wheel back on and then after that, I just use like a drill and I just lightly put it on there with a low torque. And then I torque them up with a torque wrench. Um, all of them to about 50 and then I go to 75 or 85. But you should really torque them to whatever the manufacturer spec says for your own wheels. Um, all right, guys. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe to the channel because I'll have more content coming soon.